Why is the ocean salty? Um, first off, you have to understand that salt is a natural product of the earth. Um, earth it's a natural mineral and you'll find it everywhere. Um, volcanic eruptions will give off, give off salt minerals along with uh, many other things. And you'll find it in all kinds of rocks. So whenever there's weathering of rock, you're going to find salt. Um, in, in those particles and it's actually everywhere and the idea that there's fresh water and salt water is kind of a misunderstanding because there's actually salt in even the freshest of water um, in rivers and streams and even small traces in rainwater but the amount of salt is so small that we can't really taste it and that is how we measure if something you know we call it salt water or fresh water so even in even in some rain a little bit of rainwater it'll get into the streams and rivers okay and let's say we have this river and the rivers basically will all flow into the ocean ocean so all the water will dump into the ocean along with these little you know the little bit of salt particles that it might get from the weathering of the rocks and from you know the gases from an eruption of a volcano and so on so the salt is everywhere and it'll flow um, into our rivers and streams and end up in the ocean and you know all these rivers and streams and all these bodies of water dumping their salt into the ocean well you know that that delivers the salt so why does the ocean become saltier than the rivers that um, are the source of the salt. Well, that comes with something called evaporation. Evaporation. And if you were to take a bucket of salt or a dish of salt water and put it out into the sun to evaporate, the water will go, the water will leave, but it would leave the salt behind. So over you know billions and billions of years, we get this flow of water, adding continuously adding salt salt into the ocean. But then that water will evaporate and leave, leaving the salt behind. So the ocean becomes saltier and saltier and saltier. And so that is you know a brief explanation as to why the ocean is salty and uh, rivers and streams. Are not. And the fact of the matter is, rivers and streams do have a tiny, tiny bit of salt in it, and they are the main source for how the ocean receives its salt. Um, and down below, look for a link, and you'll see another explanation from uh, another YouTuber called he calls himself Crazy Chris, and uh, gives a pretty good demonstration of how the whole salt. Uh, being left behind with evaporation evaporation works.